favorite song number eight, I think, on the record is called Things We Said. And um, I don't know why last week I said we're going to look at extended chords from Rain. Uh, that's actually the last song on the album, so it will be a couple of weeks before we get to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so today we're going to look at a little riff that goes through most of the song. And this song is a very, it's very simple in structure, but it's quite complex as far as harmonies go. So you have a bunch of guitars. One of them is just a steady D. It goes like this, you know, very simple, then it doubles with an octave. Then you have uh, the riff you're going to look at right now, then you have some chords that go... pretty long ones. Okay, so that's another part of the harmony. Then you have the melody, and then underneath all this, there's a riff that starts uh, at the intro, and uh, it's pretty cool, and it's pretty good for your fingers too, so we're going to look at it as a, maybe an alternate picking exercise, you know, or whatever, um, any way you want to look at it. And uh, the riff it goes like this. So it's very simple, you know, it's, it moves on the D minor scale, which uh, is in contrast with some of the other notes on, on the song. So you have this kind of weird hypnotic feel to the song, which uh, it's from maybe my favorite song, you know, ever that I've ever recorded. So it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to check it out, there's links everywhere, probably to iTunes or Facebook. You can stream it, you can listen to it, you can buy it. You know, anything that works for you. And if you just want to work out this part, uh, I'm sure you'll find a snippet of audio somewhere. You know, you can just listen to it and work on it. So um, the main idea is that we're moving on a scale, but instead of playing, you know, normally we just go alternating between open string. notes but it's not it's not something like you know we did uh, for originator that went like almost uh, even number of uh, fretted notes and open strings this is actually uh, you just use the open strings to remind yourself that you're in that root okay so and this has to do with modal uh, harmonies and we're not gonna get into that now but as the song shifts from one tonality to another you want to try to fool the listener you know to think that you're still in the same key and so you do that with while always repeating one of those uh, open strings. Okay, uh, if you're interested in this, we'll, we'll look at that. But you know, it's it's pretty. It's not complicated, but it's complex. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, let's look at it from close up. It's very simple. So I have the temperature, and uh, here it comes. Again, it's very simple stuff. Um, I think if you have a pretty good control of the, you know, the picking technique, you'll be able to do it with no problems. Uh, one thing you might want to watch out for is the feel. You know, you, you can't be too mechanical about it, but especially if you have, and this applies to anything you you'll do. You know, it doesn't have to be this slick. So you want to be mechanical enough that it's precise. You know, but especially if you're syncing it with other other guitars. So I have a guitar that goes like this. So this guitar kind of has to have a, a swing to it, you know, you can't just be completely straight with it, otherwise it will be boring. But then you have to kind of, you know, make it fit with this. So any, any shuffle or swing feel you put to this guitar, it has to match the other one. And so, it's one thing you, you want to be careful with, um, when you do these kind of riffs, that are very single note oriented, you know, you have to be very careful with your rhythm. And uh, it's not very difficult, just something you have to work on. And uh, if I can give you some advice, maybe it will be to first, at the beginning, when you're starting out with the techniques, uh, really be mechanical. You know, just set up a metronome and just play right on the metronome, right on top of it. And then when you have that down, then you can decide where and when to, you know, to make it flexible. Okay, don't, don't make it, don't let it be random though, because then you'll never know what's happening. And as long as you play with other people, or as soon as you play with uh, even, with your own tracks, you know, you won't be able to replicate that feel and it will be all over the place, okay? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the song and I hope you check it out. 
and I'll see you next week. And next week we'll look at something from Star's End, which is the 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 second to the last song. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video as well. All right, see you later.